Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to reduce your DPC latency and your overall system latency with some power related tweaks. If you aren't subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe as I will be posting videos every Monday at 5 p.m. East. So, getting into the video, you want to download Power Settings Explorer. To download this, all you have to do is join my Discord server linked in the description below, and then head over to the Programs channel and download Power Settings Explorer. Once you have it, you want to run it as administrator. What this basically does is it allows us to unhide certain power plant settings that would usually be hidden at first. And the main thing we're going to be looking for in here are power saving related settings, standbys, timeouts, anything that allows anything to throttle as well. That usually adds latency. So to unhide some of them, you want to uncheck the hidden boxes. The first ones we're going to uncheck are AHCI link power management. These two latency tolerances, you want to make sure these are unchecked. Turn off hard disk after, you want to uncheck. Maximum power level, uncheck. Power saving mode, you want to make sure that's unchecked. Legacy RTC mitigations, uncheck that as well. Allow standby states, uncheck. Allow wake timers, uncheck that. These two selective suspends, you want to uncheck. USB 3 link power management, uncheck that. IO coalescing timeout, uncheck. Deep sleep enabled, uncheck. Interrupt steering mode, uncheck. Processor performance increase threshold, uncheck. Processor performance core parking min cores, uncheck. Decrease threshold, uncheck that as well. Allow throttle states, uncheck. Processor idle disable, we will be talking about this later in the video. Just uncheck it for now. Turn off display after, you can uncheck that too. And adaptive display. You can mess around with some of these other settings if you really want, but those are the ones that really add latency to our system. Now that you have unhindered most of your power settings, we have to actually change them now. To change them, you want to press Windows key and R, then Control Panel. Next, once you're in Control Panel, you just want to search for Power on the top right, and then click Power Options. Once you're in here, you want to look at the power plan that you're going to be using and click Change Plan Settings. In here, you can just turn off display to never, but you want to click change advanced power settings. And in here, you can change all the power settings that you've unhidden. For AHCI link power management, we're going to set this to active. Maximum power level, we're going to make sure this is on 100. Turn off hard disk after, you want to set it to 0. AHCI link power management adaptive, you want to set that to 0 as well. Secondary NVMe power state latency tolerance, set that to 0. NVMe NOPPME, set that to off. Primary NVMe power state transition latency tolerance, set that to 0. Internet Explorer, this doesn't really matter, you can just set this to maximum performance. Desktop background settings, nothing really matters in here. While it's adaptive settings, you can set this to maximum performance. Sleep, you want to make sure legacy RTC mitigations are disabled and allow wake timers are disabled. USB settings, you hub selective suspend timeout, you want to set that to zero. USB selective suspend setting, you want to disable this. And USB 3 link power management, you want to turn that to off. In auto resiliency, you want to make sure IO coalescing timeout is on zero. Deplete enabled is on disabled. Interrupt steering settings. If you have a configured system, you should turn this on default. Most of you guys don't, so I really recommend putting this on processor one. For processor power management, the processor performance increase threshold, you want to set this to 100. Processor performance core parking min cores, set this also to 100. You can set this one as well to 100 as well. Processor performance decrease threshold, you want to also set this to 100. Allow throttle states, you want to turn that to off. For processor idle disable, if you want your system to disable its CPU sleep states, then you can disable idle, but this may raise your temperatures a little bit, so. It depends on really what you want. I'm going to keep it enabled though. Minimum processor state. This doesn't really matter. You can set it to 100. Processor idle state maximum. Put it to 0. Maximum processor state. Set this to 100. For display. Turn off display after. And make sure it's on never. And for adaptive display. Set that to off. 
And that's it. Just click apply to save your settings and then OK. That's what I have for you guys in today's video. In my Discord server, I've noticed that a lot of you guys are getting ping spikes or some type of packet loss. In my next video, I'll be covering those type of issues. So it will be another networking video. If you guys have any suggestions, you can also join my Discord server and I can make a video on whatever you want me to. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. See you in the next one.